Hello, it's Subzero Gaming, and I'm back with another Daisy Epoch tutorial. So, if you haven't seen any of my other tutorials, there'll be a link to the playlists displayed on the screen now, so be sure to check them out. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Black Market Traders. So, as always, we're going to head over to the Epoch forums and we're going to look at the Black Market Traders done by SUP. So this is a really good one and is very customizable. So we're going to download it from the Epoch forums and you should end up with a file like so. So we're going to open up our Epoch at this mission PBO and we're going to open up this folder. So we're going to go through here and as you can see this one says the MP missions so you know this needs to be in the MP missions. So from this folder, all we are actually going to be using is the trader. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy, close all these files, open it up, go into our mission PBO and paste. Next, we're going to be looking at our init.sqf and our description.ext. As you can see from the previous tutorials, these seems to be the main ones that actually get edited. So we're going to edit our init.sqf and what we're going to do is we're going to add three lines of code that can be found on the epoch forum and we're going to add them below the spawn select so we're going to put a comment in and say black market traders and below that we're going to copy and paste our three bits of code so let's just tab these out to make them stand out a bit and as you can see here we've got the trader.sqf reset vehicle ammo.sqf half take give crypto in it sqf so we're going to save that that is everything that we need to do within the init.sqf the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the description.ext edit it with notepad plus plus and we're going to add three lines of code these three lines of code it could be two depending on previous things so and i'll explain that now as you can see here there's a half underscore defines dot hpp and if we look at the spawn system that i did uh, a couple of tutorials ago I said that when we add that in, if we've already got one, we don't need to add it in again. So if you've been following these tutorials and going through the playlist, we can get rid of this one. And that is everything that needs to be edited within the description.ext. So we can save that. We go back to our tutorial, delete the epoch PBO and re-PBO this one pack into PBO and then that file is ready to be uploaded to your server. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.